Hi, welcome to the fourth day of Summerween. Uh, I had work today and I came back a few hours ago and I'm now ready to sit down and read. Yesterday night I finished Nine Liars by Maureen Johnson and today I read a bit more of Beetle and the Hollow Bones this morning when I was drinking my coffee. I was hoping to finish this tonight and I might still, but I'm actually quite in the mood to continue the book that I started at lunchtime today, which was The Inheritance Games. They're not part of the three TBR books that I selected but I didn't want to take physical books to work so I took my Kindle and I can definitely finish this today or tomorrow so this is basically just a small check-in to tell you what I've read and what I pretend to read right now but I've read what like 250 pages of The Wizard's Guide to Defensive Baking I've read the whole of Nine Liars which I know is more than 300 pages plus maybe 50 pages of Beetle and the Hollow Bones plus three chapters of the inheritance game plus nine full chapters of daughter of the moon goddess so that's what i've been listening to i'm quite enjoying it actually it's romantic and has this whimsical feel i am exhausted just want to put myself in a little corner and read and just forget the world exists so that's that's what I'm going to be doing now, but we'll see each other tomorrow morning. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Today is day, day five, and I think Summerween is going very well for me. This morning I had to do a few things around the house, so I put my buds in and clicked on Daughter of the Moon Goddess, and the Daughter of the Moon Goddess is inspired by the Moon Goddess legend which is a Chinese legend, Mid-Autumn Festival. It's known as the Mooncake Festival. So I think it actually makes quite a bit of sense to read it in this Summerween readathon. I am also in the middle of Beetle and the Hollow Bones, which I'm having such a good time reading. And I was gonna read some today, but actually I'm really enjoying the Inheritance Games and I want to focus on that a bit more because I've read 28% of this book and I wanna finish it in the next few days. Today I'm gonna go on a little picnic to a cemetery nearby, as well as making some healthy dinner. But tomorrow is gonna be movie night, which means there's gonna be pizza and popcorn and crisps. So definitely wanna stock up on the healthy food to prepare for that. I'm gonna make uh, some autumn an autumnal drink, which is gonna be spiced apple juice. I'm gonna put some ice in there to be really cold and nice because it's hot today. And we're gonna go on a little picnic and then come back, make some dinner and read throughout all of these things. So yeah, let's get right into it.
have just come back from the picnic. I had such a lovely time. It looks very gloomy, but it's actually very quite warm. So I had it was so good to take my cold apple juice with me and just sitting uh, in the shade of the trees, drinking my apple juice and reading. So nice. I actually ended up not staying there as long as I wanted. So we had to come back so we can have some dinner at a decent time having into account that we still have to make dinner so when i'm filming this if you can hear some noise in the background that's my very amazing sous chef doing some mise en place for us so i can then just pop into the kitchen do the last minute things and pretend i made the whole recipe talking about the reading and updates today while i was doing stuff around the house and on the way to the picnic and back, I listened to Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Ended up reading, I think, about 150 pages. And I feel like the story is a bit misleading. So at the start, you think you're going to follow this girl on her way back to her mom. That she lived in the moon with her mom, the moon goddess, but she's imprisoned in the moon. Her daughter's magic has been kept in check for all these years. But then one day calls to her basically and she answers and then a few minutes later the empress of the skies basically comes with an entourage to check on the moon goddess because no one knows that the moon goddess has a daughter and so the daughter has to escape the story is so much more expensive than you expect you expect it to maybe, she goes on a little adventure, she spends some time in the castle doing a few things with this prince and that's it. But no, actually it has a lot of time jumps and you really follow her through a big journey. So it's at least four years that this, that we're following her and I'm just over 50% of this book. So it's an expensive story throughout a long time period and I'm enjoying it. Just really quickly read to 30% of the inheritance games and I'm really liking it not much to say yet we're gonna have to wait and see what my thoughts are maybe at 50% of the book hopefully I'll get there tonight now let's go on to dinner Hi, welcome to day six of Summerween. Today, unfortunately, I have a lot of stuff to do. I'm gonna put my audiobook on, The Daughter of the Moon Goddess, and then we have a very exciting evening planned. We're gonna do what I call, I think I'm not the only one that calls this a Gilmore Girls movie evening, where you kind of get popcorn and crisps and other little snacks and you get some pizza. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I am gonna prepare everything with you. I have, I mean, it's not as if this is rocket science, but I am going to do something to the popcorns and the crisps to make them more exciting. So you'll have to wait and see. And then I do just wanna watch the Gravity Falls Summerween episode and maybe any other creepier episodes they have. Those are the plans for today. I'm just gonna continue my reading, obviously. We'll see each other later.
Welcome to the last day of summer weaning. Hope you're excited. I'm excited and also scared. Just made some lunch, leftover rice dish from two days ago. To counterbalance all of that indulgence from yesterday evening. I did obviously just finish Beetle and the Hollow Bones, which I thought I would read all on Sunday. I loved it. I have to say one of the best graphic novels I've ever read. Loved the characters, loved the struggles they were going through, the world, the setting, the drawings are amazing and the colors are amazing. I mean, it's a simple story, but it's lovely. It would be amazing if it was transformed into an animation series. It made me think of Gravity Falls, obviously, because I watched it yesterday. Even more Halloween-y, it was amazing. It was perfect. But today, I have to read Mexican Gothic. I know it's exactly 300 pages, but I'm kind of a bit scared of it. I've never actually read a thriller thriller. I feel like I'm kind of dreading it. It's already lunchtime, I haven't started it, and I still have an hour left of Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which I will be listening to in a little bit with my lunch and then with a bit of work I have to do, which means I'm gonna have to read this in the afternoon. Afternoon. We'll see how that goes. But yes, I'm excited to finish Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which I have been enjoying a lot more than I thought I would. I heard a few kind of medium okay reviews. And so I thought I would feel that way about the book as well. I'm actually feeling like the book is quite good. I just have to see how the end is gonna go because it could ruin it. Everyone feels so much and they're in so much suffering. <laughs> or they're so happy. It's too much. It's quite quite a lot. I'm hoping to see what I think at the end. I'm really enjoying the atmosphere of the book and I do like the whimsical elements. Sometimes it becomes a bit too dramatic, but in general, I'm enjoying how the story is going. I did actually also finish yesterday evening at probably around midnight, which was why I woke up late this morning. I finished The Inheritance Games, the first book, and I did actually kind of start the second book. I mean, I only read one tiny chapter. It's a good book, for sure. A good book. I don't understand why it has so much hype. <laughs> the boys annoy me most of the time. The main character is good. She's the only reason, plus the mystery, why I'm still interested in this book. I like the tension. But the boys themselves, I think there's only one that I actually for now kind of like, and that's Grayson. I think I understand him. I enjoyed it. I'm, I literally started the second one immediately after I, I finished the first. I want to continue reading it. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be going back to that book, 100%. I may even not read this to continue reading that. Can I pass that as a thriller? We'll have to see. It was a lot more real life than I thought it would be. I thought it would be just kind of, would never happen in real life kind of thing. But actually, you know, everything that she's going through, especially all the conversations with her lawyer and her bodyguard and all of these other characters that I didn't really know would be involved, feels more like something that could actually happen. I do feel like it did include those more real life elements, which made it a good book instead of just completely not realistic. Sorry. I think that's all I have to update you for now. I kind of ran through everything that has happened in terms of reading in the last day or so. I am going to eat my 
eat my lunch. I will see you later on. Hi, welcome to the last day of the vlog. Today's technically day eight and the readathon has officially ended. I'm very happy about everything I read and did during this readathon. I barely stopped all of these days, but I had the nicest time. All the recipes and autumnal treats, those pumpkin spice, cinnamon buns were so good. I loved using that spiced honey, which I still have a bit, so I'm definitely gonna save that for some autumnal drinks. Drinking my favorite apple juice or spiced apple juice. Let's get into the books. I ended up reading a total of 1,850 pages. I wish I had gotten to 2,000 and I would have if yesterday I didn't stop reading at 12 o'clock and just never went back to it. I got busy doing other things. I didn't have any like audiobooks on the go because I had finished Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I didn't really do the last 12 hours of the readathon. There's nothing I can do now. It's finished. For now, I definitely want to finish the books that I didn't manage to finish, starting with continuing the Inheritance Games trilogy because I did finish the first one and I kind of started the second one but I really want to just finish it get it out of the way because I enjoyed it it's not one of my favorites it's a good story and especially the mysteries are intriguing you want to know what's going to happen but I'm not really super invested in any of the romances, any of the characters. I just kind of want to know what's going to happen at the end of the whole trilogy. So I'm going to try and focus on that for the next few days slash weeks. But now for the reviews. And I managed to finish five books, Beetle and the Hollow Bones, Nine Liars, The Inheritance Games, A Wizard's Guide to Defensive Baking, and The Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Two of those books were read uh, as audiobooks, and those were The Extra, A Wizard's Guide to Defensive Baking, and The Daughter of the Moon Goddess. The Inheritance Games was actually technically also an extra book, and it was read on Kindle, but the two main books that I managed to read, and that were part of the the Summerween prompts. Those were Beetle and the Hollow Bones that fit into the graphic novel prompt and Nine Liars that fit into the set in autumn and orange and black on the cover prompts. I already finished with the read in the dark prompt a while ago, literally, I think on the second day of the readathon, which meant that I needed to fulfill on the last day the thriller prompt by reading Mexican Gothic. And I did not do it. That's kind of why it, I've been a bit disappointed about this because I definitely had those last 12 hours to be dedicated to reading Mexican Gothic, which is a 300 page book. I could definitely have done that. But unfortunately, I just didn't do it. A Wizard's Guide to Defensive Baking, I've already gave a kind of in-depth review in the first vlog. I really enjoyed it. I had the best time. That first day of the readathon was just spectacular. I gave it four stars, which is very much a solid rating. Um, I then read Nine Liars. I don't think the book itself was really that strong, but because I was coming back to this world and characters that I love and the atmosphere and setting was pretty perfect for this readathon. I think it deserves the 375 stars that I gave it. Then we have Beetle and the Hollow Bones, which was such an amazing graphic novel. Perfect. I have to make sure you guys know that it's a perfect graphic novel for autumn. I mean, it will definitely be part of my recommendations for autumn. I do have a few other graphic novels already on there, but I am adding it right this second so I don't forget. After Beetle and the Hollow Bones, which actually I read 
quite spaced out. And then final book was Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which I thought was just such a whimsical and romantic, full of fairy tale vibes, and just kind of an expensive, whimsical story. It was pretty amazing, not something I thought I would love, especially when I started it. I was like, this is a bit too dramatic. It needs to take itself less seriously. But then I just got into it. I was swept away. <laughs> and yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I also gave it four stars. So it was definitely a very solid readathon, full of four star reads and a couple of like 375. Very, very solid all around readathon. Had the best time doing all the activities and the recipes, that movie night, and the pizza and the crisps and the popcorn. I kind of just want to relive it right now. <laughs> I think it was a very successful first ever Summerween readathon experience and I'm very excited to do it again next year. But for now, I'm definitely gonna sit and plan all of my autumn content because it got me so excited for it, especially having a look at how the weather is supposed to be for the next few weeks. I will see you in my next vlog. So I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see each other next time. Bye.